An ancient voice whispers a story on the wind. It speaks of a great spirit living deep within the earth. Its breath is steam. Its voice is a roar of boiling water. When this spirit wishes to speak, to the sky, to the sun, to the stars, it exhales a mighty plume, a shimmering column to the cosmos. This is the sacred pulse of the land, a sign of life, a warning, a wonder a story born of reverence for power that shakes the ground. But another voice speaks, quiet observation, measurement and logic. Beneath our feet, simple ingredients mix. Water from the sky sinks deep into the crust. The laws of physics take over, pressure builds, water behaves strangely under extreme conditions. The eruption is not a spirit's breath but a predictable result of heat, water, confinement. This is science principles that govern the universe, from a geyser on Earth to star formation in distant galaxies. Myth and measurement appear opposed. One holds emotion, poetry, a sense of the sacred. The other holds evidence, calculation, a search for universal truths. For centuries we've used both maps. Imagine you are standing in Yellowstone National Park. The air is crisp smells of pine, a faint trace of sulfur, like a struck match. Before you lies a wide, open basin, a stark landscape of pale, mineral-crusted ground. In the center of this ground is a mound, a cone of grayish-white rock built up over thousands of years. This is the stage. From a small opening at its peak, puffs of white steam rise into the blue sky, like the gentle breathing of a sleeping giant. You are watching Old Faithful but not the main event. This is just the prelude, the quiet announcement that something incredible is about to happen. This geyser is one of perhaps a thousand on the entire planet, and it is arguably the most famous of them all. A geyser is, at its heart, a natural hot spring with a very specific and unusual plumbing problem. Most hot springs allow their heated water to rise gently to the surface and flow away. They are calm, predictable pools. But a geyser is different. Its underground structure is constricted. Think of a very long, narrow-necked bottle made of rock buried deep in the earth. Water from rain-melting snow seeps down through cracks in the ground, filling this rocky container. At the bottom of this bottle, the rock is intensely hot-heated by the magma chamber that lies miles below Yellowstone. This heat source is the engine, the power plant for the entire show. The water at the bottom of the plumbing system begins to heat up dramatically, far beyond the normal boiling point of 212 degrees Fahrenheit. However, it doesn't immediately flash into steam. Why? Because of the immense weight and pressure of the entire column of cooler water sitting on top of it. This pressure acts like a lid on a pot, keeping the superheated water in a liquid state. It's a state of high tension, a system storing a tremendous amount of thermal energy. The water is primed waiting for a trigger, a slight change that will unleash the power held within that deep, subterranean chamber. Suddenly, the gentle puffing of steam intensifies. A few splashes of water burp from the opening, then a low rumbling sound emanates from the ground beneath your feet. Long before geologists arrived with thermometers and notepads, the people who lived on this land had their own explanations for the thundering water. For many Native American tribes, including the Shoshone and Bannock, this entire region was a place of immense spiritual power. The geysers, hot springs, and bubbling mud pots were not mere geological features. They were the manifestations of spirits, the handiwork of powerful beings. These places were approached with a mixture of reverence and caution. The stories they told were not just entertainment. They were guidebooks for how to live respectfully in a world animated by forces beyond human control. Lessons and humility passed down through generations. To understand the awesome power of Old Faithful, you don't need complex equations or a degree in thermodynamics. You just need to think about three simple ingredients. Water heat, a very specific kind of plumbing. First, let's consider the water. Yellowstone receives plenty of rain. Yellowstone receives plenty of snow. This water doesn't just run off into rivers, much of it seeps deep into the ground, trickling through porous rock cracks fissures. It travels downward, sometimes for thousands of feet, into a realm of immense heat and pressure. This vast underground reservoir is the fuel for every eruption. 
a constantly replenishing supply delivered by the sky. The second ingredient is the heat. Yellowstone is not a normal place. It sits atop a massive hotspot in the Earth's mantle, where a plume of molten rock, or magma, rises close to the surface. This magma chamber, miles wide, is the furnace that powers the entire park's thermal activity. While the magma itself is several miles down, its incredible heat radiates upward, superheating the rock layers above it to hundreds of degrees. Many geysers in Yellowstone and around the world are frustratingly unpredictable. They might erupt several times in one day and then go silent for weeks, months, or even years. So what makes Old Faithful so, uh, faithful? Its famous regularity is not an accident of nature. It is a direct consequence of the specific size, shape, and stability of its hidden underground plumbing system. While we cannot see this system directly, decades of observation and indirect measurement have given scientists a clear picture, setting it apart from its more erratic neighbors. The primary reason for Old Faithful's predictability is believed to be the relative simplicity and isolation of its plumbing. Scientists hypothesize that its system consists of a fairly straightforward main tube and reservoir without a complex web of interconnected side chambers. Diagram comparing erratic geyser, many side channels, or old faithful, single tube plus reservoir. In more complicated geysers, water and steam can be diverted into various side pockets, delaying or weakening an eruption. These geysers are connected to other thermal features, and a change in one can affect the others. Old Faithful's system, by contrast, appears to be largely self-contained. It fills with water, heats up, and erupts in a repeatable cycle, without significant interference from other underground networks. The human fascination with timing Old Faithful is almost as old as the park itself. The members of the 1870 Washburn Expedition were captivated by the geyser's regularity. They gave it its name because of that dependability. Early visitors and park superintendents sat on the geyser cone with pocket watches in hand, recording eruption times in leather-bound journals. Those records became the first data points in a long-term study. Citizen science born of wonder methods grew more sophisticated through the 20th century. Park rangers formalized data collection into logs spanning over a century. That data set let scientists track subtle behavioral changes over decades, correlating them with droughts, heavy snow years, and distant earthquakes. What began to inform tourists is now a record of the planet's vital signs. Modern science brought new tools. Geologists deploy sensitive seismometers around the basin. The instruments don't just detect earthquakes, they hear water and steam moving underground. For all that we have learned over 150 years of observation, Old Faithful still holds its deepest secrets close. The most profound mystery is that we have never seen its plumbing. Every diagram, every computer model, is an educated guess. A reverse-engineered blueprint based on indirect evidence from the surface. We cannot send a camera down its throat, the extreme temperatures and violent pressures would destroy any instrument we currently possess. The geyser's inner workings remain hidden from direct view, a black box of rock and superheated water. This is a humbling reality, a reminder that even the most studied natural wonders on Earth retain a core of genuine mystery. This fundamental unknown leads to other tantalizing questions. We know that earthquakes can affect Old Faithful's timing. A major quake hundreds of miles away can sometimes cause the interval between eruptions to lengthen or shorten for a period of days or weeks. This demonstrates that the geyser's plumbing is connected to the larger tectonic stresses of the entire region in ways we are only beginning to grasp. Yet at Old Faithful, they converge. The awe watching that tower climb is universal. Whether you see a spirit or superheated steam, the spectacle inspires wonder. It is a tangible link to Earth's immense power. The ancient storyteller, the modern scientist, stands side by side on the boardwalk, both humbled, both driven to ask deeper questions. Science has given us the beautiful, elegant story of water, heat, and pressure, a story of universal physical laws playing out in a spectacular fashion. But the remaining mysteries invite us to keep watching, keep questioning, and keep dreaming. They ensure that Old Faithful is not just a solved problem in a textbook, but a living, breathing question mark rising from the center of the earth.